Right now, there is a nationwide shortage of air traffic controllers, which can lead to delays, and we know there's travel headaches. But it turns out part of the solution is in our own backyard. Nashua Community College just launched a program that's training students for these in-demand jobs, and the interest is sky high. Our NBC 10's transportation reporter Eli Rosenberg is on it. Amid a soaring need for air traffic controllers, Final request, please. the solution may just have landed inside a classroom on the campus of Nashua Community College. Every day, folks are showing up to ask about our program and instruct them to contact the tower. Recently, the school launched an enhanced air traffic control program. The students would start here. Gone are the days of students having to spend time at the FAA campus in Oklahoma City to become controllers. All the necessary training done on this runway model. And this very realistic simulator. So say Air France 527. Giving students the chance to go through all the paces of an air traffic controller right here in Nashua. Instructors giving me a quick lesson. Zero RDX heavy. Nope. November Bravo. Contact Echo or turn right at Echo. Turn right at Echo. Unable turn at Kilo. Zero two Academy Tower clear to land. Break yard eleven zero two. And keeping track of everything a lot harder than you'd think. The goal is just to, to have a very consistent pipeline of new controllers that are well trained. American six two three heavy Academy Tower clear to land runway two eight right. Now. This class comes at a time of great need in the industry. The FAA recently saying it needs to hire some 9,000 air traffic controllers. And the goal in this classroom with this kind of simulation is to make that transition from the classroom to the tower as smooth as possible. We are constantly have been in a you know, net deficit of air traffic controllers. Seth Miller is an aviation analyst for PAXX.Aero. Air traffic continues to move. They're keeping it working, but uh, getting more controllers into the system, having enough, would be a massive win. The good news, demand is taking off for this class. Instructors had to turn away students this fall. The first class offered. Next spring is already full. And the following fall is close to capacity as well. That's a pretty big thing for college students, I think, in, in general, is to, to have that high opportunity at the end of, of your career as a student to get right into the career that you studied for. To get them out there into the workforce and be successful is really rewarding. One local school helping students land a job. Well, the sky really is the limit. In Nashua, New Hampshire, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston.